Well, greetings everybody at St. James. Um, it has been a rather difficult 24 to 32 hours. And uh, I wanted to just reach out with some prayer um, and invite you into a sense of solidarity. Um, I, I'm reminded of how we all felt right when the lockdown occurred um, with the pandemic. And in some ways, again, it feels um, that incredible sense of isolation. And I wanna remind you that we are in this together spiritually as a church community and that we are all praying um, together for our country and for one another. So uh, we are here. And in, and in that sense, I would like to invite us to, to sing a really simple song. Um, it's an oldie and the words go like this, Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. So I invite you to sing with me. Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. The words of that song just started going through my head yesterday as I, as I watched the news. Um, and Bishop Susan has sent out some information and resources and prayers as well as Bishop Curry offered us some words and prayers. And so I'd like to invite you to join with me in, in a prayer for sound government from our Book of Common Prayer. Um, after we pray, I'm gonna invite us into some time of silence and then we'll close um, again with prayer and a song. O oh Lord, our governor, bless the leaders of our land that we may be a people at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other nations of the earth. Lord, keep this nation under your care. To the president, president-elect, members of the cabinet, to governors of states, mayors of cities, and to all in administrative authority, grant wisdom and grace in the exercise of their duties. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. To senators and representatives, and those who make our laws in states, cities, and towns, give courage, wisdom, and foresight to provide for the needs of all our people and to fulfill our obligations in the community of nations. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. To the judges and officers of our courts, give understanding and integrity that human rights may be safeguarded and justice served. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. And finally, teach our people to rely on your strength and to accept their responsibilities to their fellow citizens that they may elect trustworthy leaders and make wise decisions for the well-being of our society, that we may serve you faithfully in our generation and honor your holy name. For yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Amen. I invite you to a time of silent prayer. God is with us. God hears our hearts. Uh, this is an old song that some of you may know. We are one in the spirit. And I wanted us to sing it together um, to think about the fact that we really are one. We are still connected and unified in Christ and as, um, as the church. So the words go, we are one in the spirit. We are one in the Lord. And that's repeated. We pray that our unity will one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. 
We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. And we pray that our unity will one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Please join with me in a collect for the nation. Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people, the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. Endue with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that they may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in thee to fail, all which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I encourage you to continue to pray, um, pray for our country, pray for each other, uh, reach out, hesitate, don't hesitate to uh, let us know if there's anything we can do, and, and just know that we are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, and we are in this together. God bless you.